my opinion, it is the same as the Necessary Body Exfoliator. Let's talk about fragrance. You know, when you're in the shower, everything be slippery. I ended up getting three simply because they were on sale. So if you read it, let me know. Are you team manuscript or team letter? I just need to know manuscript all the way. I don't care. I don't care. Manuscript. Hey girls, so it is that time of the month where I sit here and talk about the things I'm currently loving and obsessed with. I wanted to pull out a few products that I've shared with you guys one time. So I have a uh, skin tint that I want to talk about because I've, you know, I've been using it and I just wanted to kind of follow up with you guys on the product. And I also have a couple of hygiene products that I shared in my shop with me no, my hygiene shop with me video that I want to update you guys on as well. So yeah, skincare, body care, a little bit of fragrance. We have, you know, we have all the things today. So um, let's get started with the body care. So if you guys watched my um, hygiene shop with me, by the way, if you haven't checked those out, I've uploaded two within the past two months. I'm gonna start doing more. I just can't do it like too much because I really don't need to be shopping for hygiene products that often. So the next time I'm gonna do a shop with me will be sometime next month, sometime in October. Anyway, girl, um, one of the products that I shop for in my hygiene shop with me video is this OY, OGX um, Rose Water and Pink Sea Salt Scrub and Wash. So. I have thoughts. The very first time I used a body scrub wash from this brand was when I purchased the coffee. Uh, it was the caramel coffee one. And this was last year. This was around Thanksgiving. I remember using it. And when I was using it, I can kind of tell like my skin was starting to break out on my back. And I was thinking it was that because I didn't really switch up much with my hygiene routine. So I kind of tossed that product, but then I went ahead and purchased this one because this is one I kept seeing all over TikTok. This specific one is the rose water and pink salt. This is doing the same thing as the other one that I used. The I think it's the coffee caramel scrub and I think it was seasonal, but yeah. And I mean, I've used <laughs> quite a bit of it because I was like, maybe it's something else. So I kept using this trying to like it and I just can't continue to use it y'all so I just really wanted to update y'all on that um the smell is nice I like how it um has a nice soft exfoliate like the beads in it are not too rough on the skin but it's not working for my skin and I mean it is a gentle cleanser and usually I don't like my body doesn't you know get any type of reaction from gentle cleansers. But this was definitely confirmation that this body wash in particular is not for me. No matter how hyped up it was on TikTok, no matter how cute it is, it's not for me. So definitely wanted to update you guys on that. And I hate to get rid of it because I still have a lot of product left, but it's not working for me. And then we have another product that I love y'all. This is the Dove Gentle Exfoliating body wash now this one i purchased in my first hygiene shop with me video this is the one that i recently purchased in the last hygiene shop with me video with you guys but yeah this is the gentle exfoliating sea minerals body wash this is really 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 good on my skin and the reason why i like this so much is because it leaves my skin really soft really smooth and i haven't had any reaction to it but um i like the smell of it it's very fresh very clean and i like that my skin it just feels really nice when i get out of the shower after using this um sometimes i can be lazy where i don't put on a lotion or anything like that and this is one of the body washes that i can use on those days when i feel lazy so I can put this on well i can bathe with this and um get out the shower without having to put on a lotion oh by the way this even though it is an exfoliating body wash i can use this daily like i don't like to exfoliate every single day but this is very 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 gentle to me so i just like to use it um whenever i bathe and sometimes i like to switch up my body washes so with that being said this one which is also from dove is the moisture boost body cleanser 
I like this, I just hate the pump. And it's crazy because I remember someone saying in my last hygiene video that they love the body wash, but they hate the pump. It's something about, it's something about the pump that just doesn't work. Like, I don't know, when you pump the product out, it's like, you'll get a little bit of the product not enough like you have to keep pumping but the way the product comes out it's almost like the product comes out like once it starts i can't explain it but i i just hate the pump i really hate the pump i really wish i can explain it well to you guys but it's just when you pump the product out it doesn't come out right on the washcloth and i have to hold it a certain way for it to come out right you know when you're in the shower everything be slippery <laughs> but the body wash itself i really 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 like i wonder if they have this the same the same body wash in this type of bottle i'll have to see but i really like this and again this is the moisture moisture boost body cleanser with hyaluronic serum another body wash that leaves my skin really soft and hydrated um okay y'all so hold on i got a mess in front of me i just uh, come on <laughs> i just shared this with you guys in a vlog It's the tatcha force awakening body wash the day that i was filming this i use that i use it that night okay this is very, I might be the only one that says this, but this is very, very, very similar, if not the same, <laughs> as the Necessaire Exfoliating Cleanser. And it smells pretty similar, like the eucalyptus one. So I say that because I don't have anything in front of me that'll, that I can wipe this off with, but I'm still gonna squirt it out so y'all can see the product. So. It's a gentle exfoliating cleanser and you can see once you pump it out you have those little tiny exfoliating beads in it but if y'all have tried the necessary exfoliator ex the necessary exfoliator you know when you use that it's almost like using a body wash because it foams up in the shower that's exactly what this does and it literally smells like the eucalyptus body wash from necessary so i love this because i love the necessary um i just don't know which one is more, I think this one might be more. I mean, because it's Tatcha. I don't know, but um, hold on, I got a napkin up here. Uh, but I don't know. If you like the Tatcha, uh, uh, the Tatcha exfoliating, Tatcha body exfoliator, you're going to really like this because it's kind of the same but this one is marketed as a body wash and the tatcha body exfoliator is marketed as just a body exfoliator i think it says a body wash on there but sometimes i use that as a body wash because it foam like it foams up like a body wash in the shower and it's not too abrasive on the skin so i have really been enjoying this body wash i've only used it twice so i use it that night when I filmed my little unboxing in my vlog and I use it the following morning. So, and I like that this isn't too, like I can actually use this every day like I can the body, um, the Dove Gentle Exfoliating Body Wash. But yes, girl. Now I will say I have not tried out the body oil or the body um, milk yet because that's another product that I shared with you guys in that vlog. But when I try that, I will definitely update you guys on that. But yeah, this, is really 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 good i mean it's the same as the necess in my opinion it is the same as the necessary body exfoliator but i like it um so yeah i think that's all the body products i wanted to update you guys on so right now i'm just using this and i'm also using the dove moisture boost in the shower um and i'm just gonna try to i'm actually almost out of this i have about this much left it's not much in here so i'm gonna try to finish this up and um, probably switch out to another body wash that I have in the bathroom so I can use that one and then use this one. So I like to just, like I said, I just like to switch back and forth with my body washes um, every day. Oh, speaking of body, so we have one more body product. I haven't opened this one up yet, but well, this one, I've been using this washcloth. I just haven't opened this one up yet. So I went to Five Below um, a while back and I got this body exfoliating cloth. And it was so, like, I, it was just a random thing I saw in there and I was like, hmm, let me try it. You know, it's a washcloth. Why not try it out? 
the best hands down the best exfoliating washcloth i've tried it is so 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 good so it's the exfoliating bath and shower stretch cloth and this is what it looks like so you can actually get these on amazon you can get them out of walmart um but i think the ones on amazon you have to get it in a pack like it comes in a pack of three so if you go to five below these are only three dollars a piece so the best exfoliating washcloth i've ever tried so i had to go back and stock up i got three more <laughs> um out of there so this is one i'm gonna go ahead and open because i like to switch out my washcloths like i don't like to keep it forever you know so i'm gonna throw away the one that i'm using because i've been using that one for long enough so now it's just time to open a fresh one up so yeah that's actually all of the body care products that um i wanted to update you guys that i'm currently loving and obsessed with and that i just wanted to you know follow up with you guys on um since we're on body let's talk about fragrance let's talk about fragrance so burberry is the burberry my burberry blush this very fresh very clean it's that like straight out the shower type of fresh that i don't know linen type of fresh uh, i don't know i can't explain it but it's a very soft fresh scent it's kind of like an aquatic scent like when i smell this it kind of reminds me of just i don't know walking by a waterfall or something i don't know girl <laughs> I know that is the craziest description but it's just a really nice everyday fresh scent so this is what i've been using recently um and this was one of the newer fragrances that i shared in my um what's new in my fragrance collection video that i filmed last month i believe i think it was last month but really enjoy this now this next one all of my burberry her fans you need this right here it's the new burberry her elixir you need this so this is stronger than the original burberry hair but so much better like it is so so good i one spray is all you need it's very strong but so 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 good um and it actually stays on longer than the original burberry hair so like i said if you love burberry hair and you want something a little bit stronger than it that literally smells just like it but stronger and lasts longer then get this one again it's the burberry her elixir and i got the smaller one this is in the um yeah the one fluid ounce bottle really cute packaging you see it's a light baby pink all around and the original burberry her looks like you have the clear bottle with a pink um liquid inside but yes these two have been my holy grail fragrances lately and this one i've actually been wearing like straight out of the shower for the day so um those are the only two fragrance girl now let's talk about a little bit of skincare i don't have much okay so i have just two skincare products that i've been loving um that i wanted to update you guys on especially one that i hauled in a sephora haul which is the glow recipe guava vitamin c bright eye gel cream so this is what i've been using pretty much every night ever since i hauled it in my um recent sephora haul by the way if you haven't watched it check that out i don't know what it is but this kind of reminds me of the fenty beauty eye cream the one that comes in like the little purple like violet tube because when i put this on it kind of feels like that one like it has that cooling sensation it just makes i like it makes my eyes look more awake um and it's very 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 hydrating and i also noticed that with this eye cream it doesn't really take long to rub in like some eye creams i have to keep rubbing and rubbing until you know the, the product you know absorbs into the skin but this one absorbs really 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 fast and i like that about it i also like that it has a pump which is easy to use you just pump it out on your finger and i just take one pump of this um, but yeah, it's a really nice vitamin C bright eye cream. Um, it also kind of reminds me of the vitamin C eye cream from Cora. That's actually one of my favorite ones. Um, but yeah, I just want to try something else out this time since I ran out of the Cora one and I also ran out of the one from Fenty. So I was giving this a try and I really, really, really like it. I definitely will repurchase it too. So yeah and then okay this new serum well it's not new anymore i've been using this for some weeks now i'm actually almost out girl like look at that <laughs> but it's the fresh tea elixir and i'm actually working with fresh in a video it's just not approved yet 
but you guys will see it you guys will see me use it and talk about it more in the video whenever it goes up but um yeah i've been using this for almost dang it's almost a month now i took this on vacation when i went to florida with me and i just been using this for a good minute and i'm really glad that they were able to send this over so i can actually like have time to use it and really like talk about it more with you guys but this is a really nice morning serum for me now i know you can use this at night but i prefer to use this in the morning because it just makes my skin look more radiant and fresh and just more awake and it also makes my skin look super duper duper smooth like it I can tell a difference over time though like i can't tell like right when i started using it but i had to continue to like i had to be consistent with it and that's with any skincare product like if you want to see results you have to be consistent with the product but like i said i've been using this for almost i think almost a month now and i really 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 enjoy it so i don't want to talk too 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 much about it because like i said i will go more in details with it in the video that you guys will see um where i share it but really enjoy it i like I would actually repurchase. I didn't purchase this, but I would actually go and get some more of this because this is a really good morning serum um, and I just love it. So yeah, again, that's a tea elixir skin resilience activating scam from Fresh Beauty. This is a smaller um, bottle. They have a bigger one. This is the one fluid. Yeah, the one fluid ounce. So yeah, this is a really nice serum. I have been loving it and I'm wearing it today. Well, obviously I have makeup on, but that's literally the only like serum i've been wearing on my face every single morning um since i received it but that is all of the yeah that's all the skincare i have i have like two or three makeup products one of which i want to update you guys on because i did like a first impression on it the zara um hydro glow tinted moisturizer so i've had a chance to wear this throughout the day i've had a chance to just see how it does on the skin how it looks how the finish is going to be throughout the day and one thing i have noticed when using this um i was about to say serum but when using this tinted moisturizer yeah it's a tint it's a tinted moisturizer one thing i've noticed that's like really really noticeable is it creases a lot around my smile lines and when i say a lot i mean a lot like i had to go in with the um i don't have it in front of me but it's in my purse the fenty blotting powder like sometimes when i notice i have like smile lines on the face throughout the day like say if i'm out and about um i can go in with the blotting powder and for some reason that just smooths it out like it's like almost non-existent on the face um well the lines are like non-existent once i go over it with that which I should have just brought in here and showed you guys. But the y'all know what I'm talking about. The Fenty blotting powder. It's the like little white block from Fenty Beauty. Um, bomb. I keep it in my purse. But anyway, this is nice on the skin. I just don't like how it accentuates my smile lines really, really, really bad. Um, but as far as like the finish, I mean, you guys saw it when I did like the first impression on it. But the finish of it is beautiful. Very natural looking. It's not cakey. It just looks really pretty and natural on the skin. I just hate, hate, hate that it accentuates my smile lines. But other than that, I like it. Um, I can actually use this without putting it in this area. Like if I just want to put this on the top half of my face and then go in with something else on the bottom half, which... Now I haven't done that, but I will say this next product. Now I know y'all heard me talk about this. I have been talking nonstop about this, but the Rim Beauty Concealer, this is the sweetener concealer. I use the shade Deep 2. This has been my everyday makeup routine. Like it's been part of my everyday makeup routine. I use this on the brows, like, well, to clean up under my brows. And I've also been using it just to spot conceal. And then going over it with a setting powder like my um my mac mineralized skin finish but this right here bomb 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 like i don't even have to go in like sometimes i don't want to wear tinted moisturizers or cc cream or foundations and on those days when i don't feel like putting that on i'll just put this on so i just put this around um around my mouth because that's where i'm a little darker especially around the chin I'm darker around this area um, and then anywhere else on the face that I have like little small you know dark spots or any any imperfections on the face I just top it off with this blend it out 
and then put on the MAC Mineral Eye Skin Finish. And I'm telling you, it's actually what I, girl, I have that on today. What am I talking about? Like, this is all I have on today. This and the MAC Mineral Eye Skin Finish. And then the bronzer I'm using is my NARS Laguna Bronzer. I've been wearing this same makeup. Like, every time I do my makeup, I'm rocking the same exact look. So I'm pretty sure the videos that I have up before this one, I'm rocking the same look. Um, you'll probably notice this time, like, well, I notice it, but this brow did not come out good today at all. Like this one's thicker <laughs> than this one. But as far as like the complexion and the eye look, I've been rocking the same exact, I've been using the same exact products. And the eye look I'm using, well, the eyeshadow I've been using, blah, blah, blah. the eyeshadow that I have on today is the Sephora I Love palette, which is also one of my faves. Why am I talking about this? Sephora I Love palette. This is the deep one dark dark it doesn't say it on here no it does deep warm they have these on sale for half off don't know if it's still on sale by the time i put this video up but they're originally 14 dollars. they're on sale for seven dollars so if it's still on sephora get this one again this one is the deep warm so oh let me show you let me show you let me show you this is how she looks real pretty real real pretty so get that if it's still available i feel like i gotta sneeze okay it went away but anyway girl yes the rim beauty sweetener concealer in the shade deep two is my perfect 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 match for spot concealing and just cleaning up under my brows um i do have another color in it that i did use as like an under eye um um highlighting concealer which is tan three so you know if you are my uh foundation twin and if you're wanting to try this concealer out as a highlighting concealer i'd say try tan 3w because it's a little bit lighter than the one that i um that i use all over the face and let me open this one up so this is what deep three no deep two looks like so pretty much the same shade as um, my foundation shades but yes girl very good so i have a new lippy that i want to put y'all on and it's a lip plumper and it's the one from physicians formula it's a new lip plumper that i have discovered from the drugstore i found it in target they have it in cvs walgreens because i remember back i can't even remember the last time i went in cvs but i do remember seeing this back when i used to go to cvs all the time and also back when i used to go to walgreens all the time i just always skipped over it because honestly physicians formula they don't have they have like maybe one or two products that i can use that are like complexion products but i don't really shop the brand because they don't have a, like they don't have enough for me you know so but anyway i ran across this lip plumper again in target not too long ago and i got it and i also got um this is one that i keep in my drawer i have one that i keep in my purse so this one that i keep in my drawer is actually a little bit smaller it's like the mini size this one was four dollars and then the original size which is like i mean i don't have it in front of me but it's about this same size so it's a bit about this tall the original size is i think seven dollars seven and some change but yeah i keep this one in my drawer because i like to put this on when i'm getting ready or just you know if i'm in here just grab it anyway girl this lip plumper is not spicy on the lips so i know a lot of us including myself do not like lip plumpers that feel really tingly and spicy on the lips this one is it kind of has a cooling sensation but it's not it's not like the fenty ice cold like this dang i that's in my purse but the new fenty ice the blue one is not cold like that but it's like a nice faint cooling sensation on the lips and the color so the color well the name is called the shade is called light pink princess cut and it has um can y'all see so it's like a pink reflection. You can see that it's like a milky, well, it's not milky pink. I wouldn't even describe it as that, but it's a really pretty iridescent. But once you put it on, the, um, on your lips, you see more of a pink reflection on the lips, which is gorgeous. I'll swatch her on here. Give y'all a good little swatch. Um, you probably can't see the pink reflection right there, but 
really pretty and glossy and buttery and smooth and not sticky at all. So this has definitely been a favorite of mine lately. And I mean, obviously I got two, <laughs> one for in here, one for my purse, but yeah, that is all of, I guess all the like makeup I wanted to share. Everything else have, it's been the same. I've been using the same products. Haven't really been switching up my makeup products. Um, yeah, so yeah, I've already updated you guys on like the newer makeup products I've been using, which is like the Sephora Best Skin Ever concealer. I've updated you guys on um, the primer, the new primers I've been using, the Natasha Denona and the um, Nabla Radiant Primer. Both of these are literally the same. It is all, you know, it all boils down to which one you want to buy. So if you prefer Natasha, I'd say get Natasha. If you want Nabla, i say get Nabla. But they are literally the same exact thing. It's just Nabla is like a peachy rose gold color. But I mean, it goes on the skin clear. So your skin is just going to look really, really, really glossy with these. Keep that in mind. Um, that is all of like the beauty products. Now let's talk about like a candle because it is the fall fall is here girl and i have a new candle that i have already pretty much emptied it's the uh threshold vanilla pumpkin and this is how the outside looks so when i first saw this and i think i told y'all this in a vlog but when i first saw this candle it literally looks like a leather corset and then robert he was like that looks like a football now i can't unsee that like every time i look at this i see a football and i know a lot of you said that you see a football when you see this but i well i saw a leather corset and that's why i grabbed it off the shelf because i thought it was so cute but i mean it is still pretty cute but now every time i look at this candle i just can't i can't not see a football because that's all i see is a football but the smell of it bomb very sweet, very warm and cozy. I mean, it's vanilla pumpkin. It smells just like that. It smells like vanilla and pumpkin mix. And this will smell up the entire house. Like I've run one, like obviously this one, and it smelled up our entire house, entire house. So highly recommend this candle if you're looking for an affordable fall candle. And if you like the candles that have the wood wick, you will love this because it has those um, it has two wicks in it and it has that crackling noise which we love so love that and i mean i have another one that we haven't burned yet i bought first time i bought this candle i bought two loved it after i tried it out and i went back and got two more so we have some backups but yeah girl this again is vanilla pumpkin if you are looking for a new fall candle get this one now this next thing i've been loving is a hair mask that i just emptied and repurchased and ended up getting three simply because they were on sale <laughs> so this is the coco and eve repairing and restoring hair mask so y'all this is okay on my hair it's almost like i'm using the one from um 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 the green avocado the, the the green avocado mask from briogeo it feels just like that in my hair like it has a it has a nice slip it's very hydrating my hair loves it so i have really a uh, thick coarse i think i don't know the hair type like i'm not i don't know that's why this channel is in a hair channel because i don't all be knowing but um you guys have seen my hair, my natural hair. If you haven't, I have a few videos on my channel where I do like my hair routine before I put my wig on, um, but it's not titled that. But I do know I showed you guys me um, twisting up my natural hair under my wig in a vlog. So if I can find that, actually no. Yeah, it was a recent, um, a day in my life. And I think the thumbnail, yes, the thumbnail was me holding my head back in the shower that I mean you can't miss it so watch that if you want to see like my natural hair type and how I um style it before I put the wig on just check out that video and you'll see it but anyway this is the hair oh and I use this in that video so and you can see like I think in that video I was almost down to the bottom like I had maybe like one more use um out of this hair mask but let me put this stuff down but this is it, the Coco and Eve Sweet Repair, um, Repairing and Restoring 
hair mask. Very, very, very similar in my opinion to the Briogeo um, avocado hair mask. But like I said, I got this because they had a sale on these at Ulta. So I went ahead and stocked up. Um, but yeah, really been enjoying this. It's just a nice, um, thick, creamy hair mask that feels really good in the hair. I open stuff because um, you guys, well, a lot of you guys like to see stuff, you know, like the texture and stuff and everything. So I like to open everything and show you guys all of that. And it has a sweet, like a sweet kind of coconutty slash fruity slash, I don't know. I don't know, but it smells good. And like I said, my hair loves it. So whatever my hair loves, I like to keep using, so. Had to get some more of that. And okay, the last thing I wanna talk about is a book I'm reading and I really wanna talk about it because I wouldn't say I'm obsessed with the book. I'm definitely not obsessed with the book, um, but it's one that I've been enjoying. But at the same time, it's kinda like, oh my gosh, why would they write this? Like this is so, so wrong. Like in all the worst ways all the bad ways but it's so interesting like i just keep wanting to read it read it read it but i don't like to binge read it because it's like girl what 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 anyway the book is called credence and i am currently on page 429 so i'm almost done with this book and i have to read like one or two chapters a day like i honestly cannot binge read this book because i just girl it will mess you up okay it will mess you up but it's a really good like it's it's just a good i wouldn't say suspense it's not like a thriller but i don't know it is spicy though it's very very spicy but i don't know it's definitely not a favorite of mine but i just want to show y'all the book that i'm currently reading and if y'all have any book recommendations let okay my camera oh hold on y'all Camera decided to shut off because it died. <laughs> um, I gotta get me a cord for this camera because this battery life. And I'm still using my vlog camera, y'all, because I just like using my vlog camera. I use the, C uh, the ZV-1. But anyway, I was talking about the book, the Credence book. I was talking about, what well, I was talking about, y'all. Um, okay, I had to make sure that, hold on. I was saying um, how I like the book. I'm not loving it. I'm not obsessed with it, but I like it. It holds my attention, but not enough to where I just can't put it down, you know? So anyway, what I was saying was if you guys have any like book recommendations, because I want to get some new books for the fall, just some good reads. Um, the one that I finished before this one was, was it Verity? I think, yes, Verity, that one, now that one. I'm team manuscript, all the way, all the way. So if you read it, let me know, are you team manuscript or team letter? I just need to know, manuscript all the way, I don't care, I don't care, manuscript. But anyway, yes, um, that book is really good. It's by Colleen Hoover. Um, this book is by Penelope Douglas and somebody actually recommended another book from um, another book by the same author that I might check out. I don't know, but after reading this, I don't know. But yeah, oh, I do wanna share my little book light that I love. I got this off Amazon and hold on, let me, let me get it out and really show y'all. So it's just a clip, you just clip it on your book and it has different light settings. So when you turn it on, okay, well, let me try to get it. Turn it on, this is the, br no, it's not the brightest. Okay, well, hold on. Well, you can see what's going on. So it's on the yellow light and they have different settings. If you wanna use the yellow light and then if you wanna use the white light, you can see that it has different settings for that. And then the whitest light, like the bright, kind of like bluish light, super duper bright. So this, um, the one that I like to use is the yellow one at night, cause it's not like, it doesn't hurt my eyes. So I'd prefer to use the yellow light, but yeah, Amazon girl. That's everything. That is 
everything I'm currently using and obsessed with and I also wanted to kind of update you guys on. So this is kind of a mixture of products I'm loving, obsessed with, and the products I'm not really loving and obsessed with. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for hanging out with me while I share these products. I want to know what you're currently using. What are you currently obsessed with? Let me know. Let's talk about it down below in the comments. And it doesn't have to be beauty products. Like It can literally be anything. It can be books. It can be, I don't know, some type of clothing pieces, accessories, anything. So let's talk about it down there. But that is it, girl. Again, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you guys enjoyed today's video, give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in my next one.